Today's generation makes Daystar their home for faith television. Daystar. Experience it. Coming up on Marcus and Joni, Jimmy Evans is devoted to strengthening marriages and families. He gives biblical principles to having successful relationships. Plus, we worship with Christian recording artist Terry McCalman. Live from Daystar's World Headquarters in Dallas, Texas, Marcus and Joni. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to the Marcus and Joni Show. I am not Marcus. I am Marcus's son, Jonathan. You've probably seen me here on the show before, and this is my lovely wife, Susie. Hi. We're filling in for my parents. They're out uh, this week, yes. but uh, excited to fill in for them. And today we're excited to have Pastor Jimmy Evans on Our the show. Favorite. Uh, he is the expert when it comes to relationships, marriage, and he has a new book out called The Four Laws of Love. And that will radically help couples everywhere. So go ahead and call all your married, engaged, or want to be married someday friends and tell them to tune in because it's definitely going to be a good time together. And you can also catch Jimmy's program, Marriage Today, right here on Daystar, Mondays through Fridays at 6 a.m and Sundays at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. That's right, and we also have international worship leader, Terry McAlman with us. He has authored 18 CDs, and many of his songs are sung in churches across the world. Um, so we'll not only hear a song from him, but also talk about his event, Sing Over America, that's happening right here in Dallas. So stay tuned for that. That's right. Thanks so much, Jonathan and Rebecca. Well, Terry McAlman is standing by about to sing a song for us, but before we get to that, Terry, Tell us a little bit about why worship is important to you. Well, Jonathan, worship has been my life uh, since I was a little boy. And um, it's, it's, it's what keeps me going. It's what keeps me traveling around the world. Um, we do international tours. We travel all across America. It's not just worship, it's all His presence. It's His presence, it's His presence because where there is His presence, there is His power. Where there is His power, there is healing. And there is deliverance and there is salvation. So my great call and task on the earth is to take people into the manifest presence of God. And He'll do the rest from there. But that is, that is the crux of my ministry. And we're based here in, uh, in the Dallas area. I don't think there's anything more beautiful than that. I mean, to be in the presence of God, thank you for doing what you do. So you have this event coming up, Sing Over America. Um, how did it come about and what can people expect when they, when they go? What can they expect from it? Susie, I was just asking God last year, how can I have a greater impact on America? I travel around the world, but I wanted to have a greater impact on this nation. And God said the same thing to me. He said many years ago in Colorado Springs when we lived there, He said, gather the worshipers. I want to bring an open heaven. And so I began to just call some people for prayer and say, this is the vision the Lord has given me to gather from the West Coast and the East Coast to the center point of the country, Dallas, Texas, and to sing over our nation. It was, a, it was many years ago that Jack Hayford taught about singing over your barrenness. And I began to practice that in my own life to see the deliverance and the blessing of God. And so we need to sing over the barrenness of the United States of America. So I called Don Moen. I called Paul Wilbur. Um, I talked to Joni and the Daystar Singers. Uh, I talked to Gateway Worship, and they all said, we would love to come. This is a God thing. Even from Nigeria, my friend um, Nathaniel Bassey, he's had such a burden for our nation. He's going to come over with his anointing and, and bless our nation for two days in May, May 7th and May 8th. It's going to be a fantastic time. We're trusting God for thousands of people to gather from states all over our country to lift up Jesus in the most important election year in our history, to lift up Jesus over our nation. It's not a political event. It's a Jesus event, and that's what we're looking for. Awesome. Well, we have a promo about Sing Over America. Let's go to that now.
Well, there's definitely so much power in praise when we lift up our voices to God. He not only hears us, but it pleases Him. So we encourage all of our viewers in the Dallas-Fort Worth area to pass the word and attend Sing Over America happening May 7th. And I think we might have to join as well. After seeing that promo, I'm excited. But for now, let's worship with Terry McAlman as he sings Psalm 84. Psalm 84 has long been my very favorite psalm. What I would just like to do today is just kind of meditate through it in word and song. Just come with me for a minute. It says, How lovely your dwelling place. Oh, Lord God, my soul longs, <laughs> even faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh sing for joy to the living God. Even the sparrow has found a home, and the swallow a nest to build for her young. It's a place near your altar, O Lord. Blessed are those who dwell in your house. Blessed are those who dwell in your house. They are ever praising you. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, who have set their heart on pilgrimage. That's me and you, friend. I've set my heart on pilgrimage toward God. It says they go from strength to strength. They pass through the valley of tears and they make it a place of springs because of your presence. Even the early rains fall and make pools there. So hear our prayer this day, God. Turn your heart to us, O God of Jacob. For Daystar Network, hear the prayers of this network. For the body of Christ across America, hear our prayer, Lord. Look upon our shield, O God. Look with favor upon your anointed ones. I would rather be just a doorkeeper at the house of my God than to dwell, even to be celebrated in the tents of wicked. Because the Lord our God is a sun and a shield. (laughs) The Lord our God gives great grace and glory, favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those who walk uprightly. Oh, Lord, our God, how blessed, how blessed is the man who trusts in you. And so, Lord, from the north to the south, from the east to the west, for all the worshipers in this land, I pray that you would cause our souls to long for you that you would cause us to sing for joy to the living God. In Jesus' name, bring revival to America. Amen and amen and amen. God bless you. 
Amen. Well, that was great. Thanks so much, Terry, for singing.